Happy. I just so everybody knows, everybody I think knows Jim Cappiello. He actually started, and I believe he has um, some children, I believe they're between 10 and 13. They've been doing some uh, running. And I believe this is going to be their first event. So give them a round of applause. I'm going to give you a little bit of instructions because I'm not sure who's where. We, you know, we, we have uh, the radios. You know, we have a lot of guys with the radios and stuff, so they'll be mostly in the uh, nature trail. Okay? What we're going to do is we start off here. For those that are new, you know, look just before the public school 277, you'll see four cones that are in the street. Before you get to that point, you're going to switch on to the sidewalk. It's a wide sidewalk. You're going to go past 277. You get, as soon as you get, you're going to make a quick right and a quick left on the blacktop. You'll find the blacktop. You'll come out of it on Avenue X, but on the blacktop and on the sidewalk. No crossing diagonal. No using motor scooters <laughs> or whatever. So you're gonna follow. You're gonna follow the sidewalk until you get to the memorial. When you get to the memorial, you're gonna make a right-hand turn, and you're gonna be on the bicycle trail. You'll follow that bicycle trail to the nature center. There'll be a table and there's uh, cups of water there. So you can grab some water. You'll go through the nature trail. There'll be people there that'll tell you which way to go. And if you know the race already, you don't have to uh, worry about that. And there'll be the water stop will be the same on the way back. The finish line will be here. Now, I just want to mention something. Ken Daly normally is here. Right now, he's working out in the, uh, in the UK. But he called me up just a little while ago, and believe it or not, he did the 5K this morning. So if you want to win, you better beat 17 minutes. Oh, Only kidding. Hey, look, how to look. tell you, how to tell you. So it, sounded, it sounded good. Look. All right. I think Marty just won. He beat everybody. I won. He won. That's it. Marty won. Now I'd like to uh, introduce our state senator, Marty Golden. Dan, thank you very much. I was over at the Mass and it ran a little late for the Irish Fair and I apologize for being late. But it's good to see so many of you out here, young and old, George. <laughs> but we can do it! And that's what it's about. It's about getting the young, the old, getting everybody out for the right reasons. Today, we're living longer, we're living better. We're fighting cancer, and we're beating it. The only way we're going to continue to do this is by bringing attention and raising money. And unfortunately, many of our brothers and sisters up there to go home. They go home early, that they are Lord, because we haven't been able to find that ultimate cure on cancer. It's there. We're getting better. We're fighting it. Again, people are living longer and better lives. By the grace of God, races like this will help us save lives. Dan, give him a round of applause for all the good work that he does in bringing attention to it and raising the funds that he does. Keep up the good fight. God bless you. And everybody here today is a winner. God bless. Thank you, Marty. Now, I'd like to have, uh, have the whole family, or both families, the Marchese family and the Cooper family to come up to, to the front. The Marchese family and the Cooper family. I'm going to do something a little, little different. Hope I don't get in trouble, but we're going to try it anyway, see what happens. Right here, what we're going to do today, these balloons are here for a particular reason. They're as close to the colors as we could get for brain cancer and pancreatic cancer. But we're going to cut them loose to give those hope. So with that, I'm going to have uh, have the scissors with me, I hope. Whoever would like to cut one section of uh, balloons first. And okay, cut one section, and then we'll save another section for the uh, Marchese field.
Somebody do it. Somebody do it. Just grab a gun. Somebody get the swords out. Yeah, that's those, uh, those are the scissors I had in front of the glass. There we go, okay. Jimmy, cut the rest of them. Cut the rest of them. Okay, good. Stay away from the wire, stay away from the wire, stay away from the wire. Okay, I have somebody's water. Okay, folks, I just want to remind everybody, when you're coming back to the finish line here, okay, you'll have the bowl, the Dalgo, and Jim Giorgio that are going to be collecting your tickets that are on the bottom of your, your number. Make sure that you don't have the safety pin on that. They need to be able to just rip it right off. Okay, if you didn't do the whole course or if you took a shortcut... Take a step back and let, you know, let the people that are very competitive um, give their tickets in, okay? Um, but again, you have to make sure that when you cross the finish line, that the bottom ticket gets to the call in the order that you finished. We're going to set up a tent here, and you'll run into the tent. Okay, they'll grab what they need. There's water over there in coolers. So if you want to warm down, just run onto the grass and out of the way, and there's plenty of water for everybody. So again, let's hear it for Dan, putting this together. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike, as always. He does everything here in uh, Garrison Beach. Okay, is everybody uh, ready? Make sure, make sure we have all the people that know they're quick, or that think they're quick, come in the front. Everybody's happy where they are? You know what? <laughs> Everybody's ready? Yes, I send you one back. Oh, yeah.